You are watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, holistic dentistry. With us, we have an expert on the topic. He is known as America's holistic dentist, Dr. Marvin. Dr. Marvin, welcome to the program. Thanks. Great to be here. Now, uh, your practice, by the way, holistic practice. And first off, let me, let me ask you, what is a holistic dentist? Holistic dentist, to me, is basically a dentist that cares more about the whole individual. That's kind of how we got holistic. Okay. So not only good for the teeth, dentistry that's good for the teeth, but also good for the whole body. So things like metal fillings and things like that you're obviously not using? Metal fillings, mercury fillings, any metal in the mouth. I mean, there's a whole slew of topics that we, we can go over um, okay. regarding holistic dentistry. Who is your typical patient, by the way, that you see? My typical patient is someone that basically raises her hand and says, I'm holistic and I need holistic practitioners. I need is a team. Right? Okay. Yes. These are the same people that are going to go into these grocery stores and purchase organic foods, foods that's good for the body. They know the difference. So there is a crowd out there, and I say this respectfully, that know about holistic dentistry, or they're looking for one. Yes, absolutely. Like yourself, you're very healthy. You spent yeah. years working. You know you have to do something. Well, your dentist is part of this team or part of the advisor for you to get very healthy. And in order to do that, you find a holistic dentist. Dentistry does affect the whole body. so these people are very excited. These are influence people. These are people that are very smart. They try to find the best, the best Interesting. foods, everything. And then they come to us and then they're floored by how much information we give them and they're so excited because they now know something that most people don't know. Let's talk about your background and training because I have a lot of questions about root canals, mercury fillings, uh, things like that. Uh, but first, I guess you come from a medical family. Yes, I come from a medical family, and a lot of us do. I mean, what do we know Father was up? a medical doctor? My dad was a medical doctor, ear, nose, and throat what surgeon. What about your mother? Your mother? Yes, one of those. Filipino parents, we have Filipino medical doctors. Okay, <laughs> okay. all right. Uh, my mom was an anesthesiologist, and in fact, my brother is a gastroenterologist not too far from here, and uh, he's very successful in their own right. So, now, medical family. Now, why did you decide dentistry? I mean, did, 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 I mean when did you know? When did I know? To tell you the truth is um, I had a choice. I filled out an application. I could put either one medicine or two dentistry. It was for a little, little summer job here at the Ohio State University. Okay. And I just felt dentistry. And then from that point on, I worked with a guy that worked into dental implants. I saw an opportunity in the future. People were taking out teeth and putting implants instead of dentures or partials. And I said, this is this is where I'm going to be. I love really? working okay. with my hands and I love doing this stuff. Now you were a professor at the University of Texas. Tell me about that. Yes, I was a professor right after my residency program. I'm a big educator. I'm always curious. I always want to help people, but I want to help students too. I have something that they want, I get them excited. And so I wanted to do some teaching. And so I taught at a great dental school at, at, in San Antonio. It's a phenomenal school. But you also were a cosmetic dentist. And, and I want to know why you made the change to holistic dentistry from, from cosmetic dentistry? I used to think that with cosmetic dentistry, everything is cosmetic. Because anything I do in your mouth should look good. OK. okay. It kind of went over into holistic dentistry when we started really that our lives are holistic. Then I, I, I looked at dentistry and I said, a lot of the stuff that we do is not really holistic. It may be good for the tooth, good but for the But it's not good for the people. Yeah, it's not good. Really? Okay. And so, you know, I know it's, it sounds weird because we're all thought to believe that growing up, dentistry is good. All you do is just go in there, you drill, fill, fill in the hole, and then you're all fine. But it's not like that. You know, we have to look at the bigger picture. So it picture. wasn't rewarding for you? Absolutely. The cosmetic part? The cosmetic part wasn't as rewarding as this today? Nowadays, cosmetics is great because it gets people to a certain point and be like, wow, I smile, I have confidence. You've heard it all the time. I have a whole new confidence to kind of smile. I don't cover my mouth, and that's great. But what about health? What okay. about feeling good, okay, about your health? Because isn't it when you're healthy, you feel better? I mean, aren't you feeling better? Yeah. Like, because you eat healthier? Yeah. Everything feels better. You have a positive energy about life, and you just know something that a lot of people don't now, know. There's an interesting point you said to me on the phone. You said, Randy, if everyone is supposed to have a dentist, why not have a holistic dentist? Absolutely. Expand on that. You're right. Uh, Holistic dentistry, all things being equal, as a holistic dentist, yes, we work with materials and modern dentistry that's all good. But there's, there's something different about a biological or a holistic dentist. That's another name for a holistic dentist. Biological dentist? A biological okay, dentist. Okay. And uh, that is science driven, but they just know, okay? There's a greater understanding. And so when you go to a holistic dentist, 
you'll know that there's a lot of dentistry that's that's still out there that can affect everything, affect your lifestyle, okay. affect Let's your talk health. about the different categories of topics that, that uh, I guess people talk to you about as a holistic dentist. What are they? There's quite a few, and I'll talk about some controversial ones that most people would think about a holistic dentist. Number one is fluoride. Do we use fluoride water in our toothpaste? Do we put it in our public drinking systems? You know, is that good? The other other topics are mercury, okay? Mercury in the mercury f in the fillings, the silver fillings that people have. Is that good to keep in their mouth? And the next thing is, those mercury fillings, um, how should you get them removed? Can you just go to any regular dentist and do it? Other issues like root canals, those are an issue. Biocompatible materials, what we put in the mouth, does your body like it or it doesn't like it? And we can test for that. Now, let's start with mercury fillings. I thought it was very bold of you. We talked on the phone and, 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 and really, didn't want to do the interview. You said, Randy, you have mercury fillings. I, I need you to go through the process. Absolutely. Yeah. So I went there, by the way, beautiful place. It's a different kind of a place. You have like an autumn room, a summer room. Where, uh, you tell the story. We went through, we, we want to do this theme. And, and when you go to a dentist. It doesn't look like a dental office. That's yes. For sure. You don't want it to, you don't want to be there, OK? You don't want anything to do with it. But you know it's a necessary evil. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to make a dental practice not look like a dental practice. And the first thing you want to do is first impressions. When you walk in, don't make it look like a dental practice. Next thing is when you go into what we call them dental suites, when you sit there, we don't want you to think that you're in a dental office, so we've taken almost everything out yeah, of it. Yeah, you like Apple TV plan and uh, <laughs> yes. Well, wild, we're, we're big on furniture. computers. Uh, we want to minimize everything. When you look up in the ceiling, it actually looks like you're, you're out in a picnic looking up and just relaxing. We have this virtual skylight that is quite remarkable. There's no x-ray cords everywhere, hoses, and, and everything to distract you, because you're always wondering, it's like, is that, they're gonna use that on me, or is that gonna hurt, or what's gonna happen? So everything that we can do to decrease the anxiety is what we do in our practice. Now even, you know, I was talking to your uh, assistant, maybe she's your uh, dental assistant, but even the towels, you don't uh, use paper, you wash your own towels. That's, that's just a part of it. Uh, that's part of what, a green practice? That's part of a green practice, being aware or conscious of the environment, but you gotta realize, at my old practice, we went through towels and towels and towels. Every time you wash your hand, you take two towels and you throw it away and do it again, throw it away, you throw away these latex gloves. Something. There's a lot of waste, and I think dentistry can do, well, do their part in making the earth or take their carbon footprint and just make us minimize it okay. in, in the office. So yeah, we use towels and we launder it. I have a lot of It was a nice medicine. experience. You know, I try not to promote the people on the show. I mean, okay. I, I told you, you're my dentist, my holistic dentist. Yes. And uh, so, so somebody out there like me, and I still have one more mercury filling. One I've more. i two cavities in my life. And uh, you got rid of the, the one, which was nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what's, what, what's going on with my, with my other one? If I do nothing, because it's crossed my mind, yeah, maybe. I'm actually, you know, we're two, three feet away, and, yeah, okay. and uh, you know, I'm like, okay, you have a mercury filling. Well, we come in contact with people all the time with mercury fillings. There's, there's thousands being done even to this day. But it's just sitting there. It's just sitting there. And I'm going to tell you is that there's mercury vapor that comes from that, and mercury vapor, which I can go into lectures on, but I'd rather people just go to the website and your and website has this it. stuff, okay? Yeah, go to our website. You'll find a lot of good information. You'll see videos, and it's What all sold out me there. is your video. I went to the website, and it's it's a scare tactic video. I, I not you, meant to be scare tactic. You didn't tactic. put that together, though. No, I didn't put that That's together. That's a strong video. Yes. It's uh, it's about mercury, deep, and I thought, I'm going to get this out of my mouth. I thought I only had one. And when you gave me the bad news, you said, Randy, you have another one in the back. Yeah, I was just looking around like I always do, try to be comprehensive with every single one of my patients. And when you came in, you told me I have one, one mercury filling I need to take it out. Well, you told me how, how, how long it's been there. It's been there for 20 some years. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, 20 years, okay, one mercury filling. Then I look around and see two mercury fillings. Well, there's people walking around with 12, 13, 14 really? mercury fillings. And you're just like, well, they must be safe because a dentist put them in and they're smart and educated. They should this know. stuff could be leaking into your body. Absolutely. Give me some symptoms if it does leak in the body. Oh, because mercury, the number one thing is when mercury gets into your body, especially in a vapor form, it goes to your brain, it goes to your kidney, it goes to your heart, it goes through all of your cells in the body because it has a certain affinity to your cells. And so mercury, when it's in your body, especially if it goes to your brain, it can cause tremors, dizziness, anxiety, depression, all these things, and you're just like, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Now, I interview medical doctors on, on, on this show nationwide. Mm -hmm. we're, we're even in Canada. 
And uh, big talk on mercury. People are afraid of mercury. I'm not an expert on the topic. But you think that this, because I, you know, I look at it in my mouth. It's not moving. You're saying just there's little tiny vapors that could be... Uh... Chronic low-dose mercury coming from mercury filling is the number one reason why people have mercury toxicity. It's not the fish. Everyone talks about the fish. It's not the vaccines that everyone talks about. It's mercury fillings that were really? placed in there. And also, when they're not removed properly, you can get toxified. And everyone thinks that when you get them removed, you're all done. I have no mercury fillings, I'm done. Remember, this is a process. It was scary, actually. You had a big vacuum, everybody's wearing masks. It's different. You'll, you'll, you'll see.